This video will demonstrate the use of Duratec 904-001 high gloss additive. To begin the repair, remove all the damaged gel coat and get back to the laminate. Use a grinder or other tool to make sure that the laminate is roughed up and has a surface that will adhere to the repair gel coat. Be sure to use a grinder or sandpaper to bevel the edge of the undamaged gel coat. By beveling the edge, we eliminate a sharp line which will show through the repair. First, we'll make a putty out of the gel coat and a thickening agent like Cavacil. This putty will be used to fill in the low area created by removing the damaged gel coat. Stir the Cavacil into the gel coat and create something with about the same consistency as peanut butter. When it becomes a putty, carefully move it over and apply it to the damaged area. Carefully scrape it until the putty is even with the surface of the undamaged gel coat and doesn't rise above it. Blend equal amounts of gel coat and 904-001. Once they're thoroughly stirred, it's necessary to catalyze the mixture. The proper amount of catalyst is 2% of the entire mixture. That works out to be about 20 cc's per quart. It's best to apply the blixture by spray using a HVLP type cup gun. We want a total build of 20 mils, 20 thousandths of an inch. It's applied with first a mist pass and then with three or four passes of four to five mils apiece. The blend will cure. It takes two to three hours a cure to be completely hard at room temperature. The repaired area is smooth and shiny. Even though it is smooth and shiny, it's necessary to sand and polish, mask off the areas that were not repaired, and then we'll begin sanding. Sanding it opens up the surface, allows any solvent to escape, and allows for full cure. So even if the surface looks smooth and shiny and acceptable, it's still necessary to sand the area that was coated with the blended Duratec and gel coat. It's useful to use a guide coat. In this case, this is a coating that's just going to be sanded back off. It'll indicate any low areas or any areas that are rough and need more sanding. And we'll begin sanding first with a 400 grit sandpaper, followed with successfully finer grits. So now we'll start with the 400 grit and a dual action sander. And you'll notice right away that uh, the blended area sands fairly easily. The, uh, the guide coat is sanded back off. We work our way up with 600 grit sandpaper, followed by 800 and 1,000. Progressively, finer grits of sandpaper are used, and each time we move back the area that's being sanded a little bit into the unrepaired area. Now we take a polish designed for a composite surface. Here we're using Aquabuff 1000F, and we'll use a commercial polisher or a commercial buffing uh, pad and a commercial buffer. And so we see here that we are just buffing this back now. And quite quickly you'll see the gloss develop as the scratches from sanding are taken out. After that we'll use a cotton pad and a fine polishing pad and bring it to its ultimate gloss.